so what I'm going to be doing today is I have my lithium cells that I got in the, those old used ones and I wanted to start looking into if it's feasible for me to replace that small lead acid battery that I'm using in my car with my supercapacitors with um, lithium cells. Now before anyone freaks out the cells that I have here are old and used um, I would never put them under the hood of a car and trust them personally same with the way that I have them wired I just did a quick solder job um, connecting them I'm not running any amperage through them or out of them in this test so what you're seeing on the bench here in front of me is nothing close to what I would actually install in the car what I am checking though is I got this charge controller off of eBay and it was very cheap I can try to find the link and put it in below and what it's supposed to do from my understanding is it's going to take and it will limit the current and shut it down on the output it actually ties in all three of the batteries in series and when it limits the current on the output it will keep you from overloading the batteries it's also supposed to when it gets over a certain voltage threshold charge them correctly what I want to do today is if I were to use this charge controller, which is really the only thing I'm checking here, is it needs to be able to have close to 15 volts, usually 14.7 maximum, from my alternator, and it has to step it down so that I'm not actually running too high a voltage to each individual cell. So to test this, I have a multimeter hooked up on each cell individually, and it's giving me the reading. If any one of them goes over 4.2 volts at any time, I know that this charge controller is not going to be the correct one for my application. So we're going to turn on the power supply, and we're at 11.9 volts for the bank as a whole. And if we turn it up at 12.3, we can see that it is putting in just a little under an amp. I'm at 4.0 volts, 4.0 volts, and 4.1 volts. Not sure if you'll be able to see it on this screen there. We can see that at a low voltage charging it, nothing is actually running over charging anything so far. But if I bump this up to 13.3, we can now see that it's actually pulsing. It bumps it up to 14.3 and then it cuts back to 14.1 and we can see it actually keeps turning the charge the charge controller is actually breaking the connection. It's seeing an overcurrent condition. So my guess is it's designed to only work with a certain voltage range. This isn't actually going to effectively limit the voltage. All it's doing is just breaking the connection. So it's acting like a resettable circuit breaker, essentially. At 12.8 volts, you can see I'm slightly over at 4.25. So it is technically even overcharging at that. Uh, it's safe to assume that this isn't going to be anything close to what I would need for an application to run it off of an alternator charge. Uh, my hope that this was going to actually step down the voltage that I'd just be able to put 14.6 in and it would current limit it and voltage regulate it. I'm going to need to look for a different charge controller. Hopefully you found this interesting and thanks for watching.